Hello, this video is for Linux users who wants to use their Intel integrated graphics and their NVIDIA GPU at the same time. So for machine learning devs who wants to do their ML experiment on their laptop when you don't have the remote server available, for example, the main challenge is lack of VRAM. In my case, you can see I have a GeForce MX150 and only two gigabytes of VRAM. Now you see it's a zero of usage, but because this is after the fix, but before the fix, you would see the X window system along with the APPs, various APPs I use like Chrome on it. And typically, typical usage, I would already have over half a gigabyte of uh, VRAM already consumed. So first step to do this fix is the, we're gonna list the PCI devices and uh, just for fun, we can spot the NVIDIA one here, but we don't need to. But more importantly, you need to spot the Intel chip and you take note of the bus ID. Once that, you can, uh, you, you're gonna need to edit the X or com file. Basically, we're gonna tell the X window system to use the Intel chip by default. So we're gonna open it. And by the way, all this, you can copy paste it from my blog. I put the link in the description and uh, it's much easier to copy paste, except that you need to replace with your bus ID. Otherwise, for obvious reasons, it won't work. So once that, once you saved the, the file, you need to reboot. Once you reboot, to reboot it, you can test it out. So you can use the Intel GPU top command to uh, show the GPU usage of the Intel chip. And we're gonna test it by starting a video. It's quite consuming. You can see 40% of usage and we're gonna see the NVIDIA chip still at zero. So it seems to work. Just to make sure, we're gonna start a TensorFlow example like this. It's gonna take a while. By the way, this is OpenAI baseline, if you wanted to know. So it's slowly tar starting up. So as you can see, that's the only process running on NVIDIA GPU, so that's what we want. And in parallel, it's using the, um, the, the video player is using the Intel chip and all the X window system. So it works quite well. The main issue I found is, this is the bandwidth test from the CUDA samples, is that the bandwidth seems to be take a hit more than when the X window system is on the NVIDIA GPU. Not sure why, maybe there's a, some a management problem between the Intel chip and the NVIDIA, NVIDIA chip. Um, so basically that's it. Uh, don't forget to uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you have questions you can post it in the comments down below or in the blog post in the comments in the section in the blog post